Welcome everybody to episode four of my summer abroad series. So the fourth stop on this series. And in this episode, we're going to be stopping in Norway with the film Troll Hunter from 2010. So Troll Hunter is about a group of students who investigate a series of mysterious bear killings, but learn that there are much more dangerous things going on. They start to follow a mysterious hunter, learning that he is actually a troll hunter. And you kind of guess how they structure the film or how they decided to shoot it by that synopsis. And it is a found footage film. And it's a like the film opens with the standard text that the footage was found and compiled into like a rough cut of all the footage as to why somebody would find this mysterious footage and create a rough cut i i don't know but most found footage films don't really say that the footage was compiled it just kind of exists so it adds a little bit of credibility to the film as opposed to other films like i don't i don't even think uh blair witch project did that the footage was just compiled they said it was found or something i don't know the framing is pretty good for a found footage film i know it's really hard to do that because a lot of the shots are handheld the locations are beautiful it's norway it's got a lot of landscape shots uh, which are very cool almost like a documentary style which is also cool. Lighting is not bad for a found footage film and the editing is actually pretty good for a rough cut. I wonder what the rough cut of this rough cut actually looked like. Maybe they should have released that. Um, would have been cool if they did that, but I think they had to polish it enough that it would, would appear like a rough cut, but was the final cut type thing. I did like the grain that is on the footage. There's a slight grain to add to the whole found footage aspect. I don't know if that was a filter added or that was just naturally there because of the camera. I didn't really look into that part. It's decently paced overall. The effects are well executed. CG isn't the best, especially in the night vision shots. Like some of the CG of the trolls actually looks decent but in the night vision shots they just look really bad i guess you could say which sucked but which is likely why i gave it the rating i did it was the one thing i think i didn't actually like about the film so i love the mythology that's explored within and written into the film i like it when films add in like those kind of elements almost creating like a a fantasy film that is grounded in reality overall it was a well-written film uh i think the fact that they chose to do the found footage route was an interesting way to showcase the story I don't think it would have worked as well as it did if it was more of a traditional shot film. So the music and overall audio mix is unique. I th um, they, they got to make it feel like it's a natural film, much like how Blair Witch from 2016, the music actually sounded like it was sounds from the woods and stuff like that. Uh, which was definitely one of the better elements of that found footage film, even though most people hated that one. So if I had to give Troll Hunter a rating, I'd probably give it a nine, mainly because CG wasn't the best in the night vision shots, but overall it was decent. So I know that wasn't a lot of notes that I wrote down, but I do recommend it if you get a chance to see it. And I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you in stop five or review number five, which will be in Sweden with the film Midsommar, uh, the director's cut. Now, I don't think I have any notes for the director's cut portion, but we'll see. So, see you in that one.